Hey guys, and happy Wednesday. Just wanted to hop on and share with you a quick haul, mini haul, that I received from Birdies Making Sense. And I know yesterday, if you happened to catch my video on uh, Wax Chat, I uh, just wanted to share with you my thoughts on certain vendor wax. I also completely forgot about one particular vendor uh, other than, um, I think it was Pharmacist's daughter I've tried and I get good performance from her. So completely forgot to mention her in my chat. So apologize, um, but I enjoy her as a vendor as well. So I get decent performance. It uh, doesn't go very long, but still a decent performer. But I do get good performance from Birdies Making Sense. And her scents or whatever oil she uses on cold, her scents are pretty decently strong on um, performance. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, it goes for at least a day. Again, I change my wax every day. So you can't, if you want longevity, I tend to have better performance with Scentsy Wax. And depending on the scent, we'll go for days. Um, one scent, I think, I think it's Arctic Kiss from Scentsy. It goes for like seven days and then you need to, it just, you get sick of it. So for me, I just like to have a new scent every day. That's just my, my preference. So without further ado, wanted to share with you my Birdies Making Sense haul. I wasn't going to purchase. I'm on a low buy. I am trying my very best to not go crazy with going back into a restock. I'm, I'm trying to stay away from Rose Girls. So I did this one because all of her stuff is incredibly unique. My daughter saw it. I mean, she's only four. She saw actually five. She saw what she was debuting or what she was selling. And she was like, mommy, can I have it? And I was like, okay, sure. She just thought it was super cool. So I was like, it is pretty neat. Let's just purchase it. So I originally was just going to purchase two things from her, which was her cookies because I absolutely love the scent notes on this. I've never had it before, but I bought two packs. So I was just gonna go in for the cookies and then I was like, that's silly, I should just buy more. So uh, I'll show you first, actually I'll show you first the cookies. So this is Waiter or Waydo, Cinnamon Honey Butter, Sugar Cookie Royale and Pretzel. And let me tell you, they look like legit cookies um, and it, they just smell amazing. Like, super amazing. I wish I bought more. <laughs> I'm going to pop this in my warmer. It's probably first thing in the morning. So, I got, I got two sets of two cookies. Um, and I think they're still available while I'm filming this. Don't hold me to it. Um, I just chopped up the other two because uh, I was chopping some souffles. Oh, my God. It smells so good. It literally just smells like a sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough. Oh my God, so good. I do get a little bit of a cinnamon, but I should have got more than two. Something was like, buy more than two. So if there's more and it performs, I might go back and get more. But this is the cookies that I had to just go in and get. All right. She also sent a little bit of a sample um, with a little thank you, as well as a thank you card. And then Bridget is the owner. She's great. It's Birdies Making Sense. Check out her Facebook page. And this is a whipped coconut cake, spice sponge cake, sweet milk, coconut frosting, caramel, and a hint of cinnamon. And I like how she also puts pour dates on it. It's a little piece of cheese. I can open it. What do I get? I get a spice. Maybe I'm getting the caramel. It smells like a spiced cake. Eh, it's all right, not one. I like, she made a sample of a piece of cheese. It was mango and something, mango and coconut milk on her lost order, and I like that one better. But um, I tend to not like things that have caramel, because um, I feel like it's just, I mean, caramel is burnt sugar, but I feel like when you warm those types of things, you get burnt sugar, so I try to stay away from it. So without further ado, guys, this is what my daughter just had to have. And I was like, okay, fine. So it is a TV dinner wax melt. Super cute. There's peas, taters, turkey, and of course, brownies. So whatever you see pictured here is what will be in here. So let me open it up quickly. Super cute. Again, super unique. 
true works of art, looks like food. And I got two extra brownies or extra brownie. Here, oh, as I dropped the peas, here is what you get. So cute. And you could buy extra stuff. So first I'll start with the turkey. And this is Go Pluck Yourself French Baguette Bartlett Pear Caramel Maple Swirl. And it looks like real turkey. And um, this is the first time me smelling them. Um, you do get a caramel note. Again, I wasn't going to get this because I saw that it had caramel items in there. But I was like, eh, let me try. You get a lot of the Bartlett pear. I really just get the maple. I get a maple and pear. It's so like a maple pear note. Not bad. Not too hateful. I'm wondering if that caramel. I like. I don't even want to chop it up because it's just so cute, guys. So that's the turkey. And then here's the peas. So this is peas out, or peas <laughs> peas out. Pistachio pudding cake, maraschino, cherry, and pretzel. And again, it's so cute. Her labels and then the pour dates. And I don't like things with pistachio. If you sir, if you saw um, Bright, House, Bright House Sense with like Mel, she's great. I sent her a huge friend mailbox, and I sent her a lot of Rose Girls that I had with pistachio. I just turns out I don't really like pistachio. Um, but again, if some people, if that's your jam, more power to you. Um, all I get is a cherry, like a cherry Shirley Temple note with pistachio. So not my jam, but definitely really strong. Um, the mashed potatoes or taters. Look at how cute with the butter. And this one, less haters, more taters. Pour it on 210 and it is strawberry, raspberry, guava, tropical soda pop, and cotton candy. So all I get is a guava note and soda with a light, light cotton candy. So really fruity. If you like fruity and strawberry, this one's probably really good for you. Um, and then I got, I think two brownies came with it and I got an extra brownie or I got two extra brownies. I don't even know. I think it might be, here, let me see, I'm gonna look at my bill. So I got one extra brownie. So two comes in the actual, um, this was, I think 14. This was actually, no, 16.99, which again, this is pretty for the amount of wax you get. You're the fudging best and it's fudge brownie, marshmallow fireside, marsh fireside and graham crackers. Really cute, looks like a real brownie. I mean, again, her stuff is amazing. So I got one extra one because this is the one I was most excited for because I do like bakery does smell like a fudge brownie oh my god it smells like when you first bake brownies and they come out of the oven so I get this fudge brownie and a hint of graham cracker I don't know that's a really good one like a really good one I don't know I might pop this in one first or the cookies I can't decide so so two do come in a good tray of food and then I got one extra one which I probably should have gotten another one but oh that's so good um, and these are all, uh, hand poured in New York. It's a Paris soy wax blend. I do have, like I said, good performance with her wax. Um, but I really enjoy, again, check her out, check her website out. What I think might be left is another story, but, um, I can't hold you to it, but go check her out at some point. She does post on her website and Facebook or more so her Facebook uh, when she's going to have a restock or any new goodies. So go check Bridget out. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks for watching my haul, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys.